Before I start, I just want to say welcome to the first episode of Hybrid Examples, where I make planes like this, where nothing is original about them. You may be wondering, why am I doing this? Because of this new series that I'm starting right now, there's a lot of planes that I said I will not make tutorials of, and now, because of this, those planes will now come onto the channel. So, without further ado, this is Fury X V2. And as you can see, it has four missile racks. It looks almost identical to uh, the original Fury X, Fury X V1, but the, dif the main difference is its construction. Well, these fins are not supposed to be like that, but it doesn't matter because this plane is bad. I'm going to say that straight out. This plane is bad. Like, this landing gear design is bad. It's really far forward. I don't like how it's so far out as well. These missile rack design is also pretty bad. Like, they're very crammed and very out onto the wingtips, which is not good for flight performance. So, or which is not good for stability, not flight performance. But now, with this improved version of Fury X, Fury X V2, the missiles are further apart from each other so that they're not so crammed. They're further inward, and the landing gear is also further inward, and it's a little bit further back. So, other than that, it's pretty much the same plane. Has the same air and tick design. It has the same afterburner design. Has the same wing configuration. But this plane is a lot simpler than the original Fury X. So let's get into it. After making two diagonal pre creases on the other side, we're going to fold them in half and then we're going to squash fold the center piece. And now we are going to squash fold the other side along those creases and simply just fold it down. Then now we're going to fold it up, flip it over, and then fold the excess paper over. Fold this into the center just like this. Flip over and while folding this edge to the center, let the paper flap out. Then you are just going to do that to the other side. Then you are going to fold this flap to the center. And on this side too. Now you're going to open up the paper and release this trapped paper just like that. Hold on, I'm going to put this in the center. And then after that, you can just squash fold it down like this. And then you can begin to pedal fold it. You will undo the pedal fold open it up, and release these layers, fold this flap over on top just like that, and kind of pull out until it does that. Kind of restructure this paper, and then kind of squash fold that down, and then you will modify to pedal fold it. Once you have done that, you can just kind of spread the layers out and then fold them back in, like just like that. Now you will fold these layers out, then you will fold this to the edge you just created. Unfold, and then you can fold this up so that it's parallel. You can use that crease and then swivel this out, just like that. Swivel that down, flip it over, and take this flap out, just like that. And then you can fold that over in half to reinforce the nose. And then you can put it back. Now you're going to swivel this layer down. Now you're going to take this out. And then you will take this out and just kind of wrap it around. And just like that. You're going to fold that down and back up again to make sure that the creases are perfect. Then you're just going to spread it out just like that. Make sure that it's parallel. And then you will use that crease and swivel it down. You're gonna fold this back up. And then you're gonna fold that up as well. 
then you will uh, open sync that through and that will create a missile rack just like that now fold that down and then do these series of folds unfold and then you can inside reverse fold them now you can do that to the other rack repeat the same sequence of folds and then you can inside reverse fold them. Now you can fold these up where the bottom edge is parallel to the fuselage line. Just like that, now unfold them and then inside reverse fold them. Now you can fold this over and then swivel that part over. And with this new flap you just created, you can fold it down just like that. Now just crease that over. That'll help lock it in place. Now you can fold the intakes by folding that out and then close sinking it. Don't forget to pop this tiny tab out. And then you can fold this tiny tab over. It might require a pencil or something. And also that tab. Then you can fold this up one third and then down one third, just like that. Unfold and then fold this up one half. Then you're going to grab it or fold this, just like that. and then fold this down. Then you're going to swivel this piece over and make a point. That will become a lamp maker strut. Then you're going to fold this huge flap up and then swivel that down, fold that down to where you just creased and then fold that so that it's uh, parallel to the fuselage line. Then you can swivel out that thing right there and that will create the back wing. Swivel out this tab right here and swivel up this tab right here. Then you can fold that up and then fold it in half. Then after that, you can just fold that back down and then fold that up just like that. Then you're going to unfold and flip over. And then you're going to sink that, close sink that out. Sorry, it got kinked a little bit. And then there's a tab, you can flip that over. And then doing so, you'll have to fold over this little back edge, make that wing shape. Now you're gonna fold that down and then up again, just like that. Then you're going to fold this back up as well and then back up once more. Now you're gonna do this side to that side. Now that you have done that, you can flip this over and then fold the fins and wings up and intakes up. And then you can do this on that side. Now you're going to fold this in half. Then you're going to spread it out and reverse the valley crease. Just like that. Now you should have a tab in the middle, just like that. Make sure you crease that really well. Now you're going to fold this part in half. Just gonna take, take the mountain crease and then bring it to the side. You're gonna do that to both sides. Then you're going to reconstruct the jet fold with that. 
And now you're going to fold those tiny tabs over, open it back up, and then fold them over once more. Unfold both sides, just like that. Reconstruct the jet fold, and then fold them together. It should be in thirds. It's uh, kind of tricky, but if you can get that, then good job. Then you can inside reverse fold the front landing gear strut, just like that. Now you can shape the afterburner, just like that. Now I'm just balancing the plane to make sure that it stands upright. Now I'm going to use a pencil to round out the air intake. And do the same thing with the other side. Now that is it. Fury XV2.